Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing the readings for July 2019 and this is Pisces. I have a circle of stones here and crystals because I really felt that in the month of July we're going to need a lot of extra grounding and I mean worldwide, not just in America. So that's why I have these stones here. But let's see what we have for our Pisces for the month. Okay, so we have transformation. Things are going to be ending. Uh, like a phase in your life, you know, if you could just look at it that way, the old you is shedding its skin like, um, like a turtle does, you know? And once it sheds its skin, they have that new baby fresh skin, and we ask you to just be more gentle with yourself, letting go of the old parts of you that don't serve you anymore. Um, it's like, you know, ding dong, the witch is dead. The old you that really needed to be transmuted and you need to transcend. You know, we do this different parts in our life. We die a little bit every day to be reborn every day. You know, you don't want to always be the same person. You want to always ascend so with this card, it's a rite of passage. You know, you like being reborn to a new you and letting go of what doesn't serve you and what you wanted to control and going toward your higher purpose. You're making room for the new things in your life because it's time for something to end so you can rise again. So put this in a snapshot of your life, like I always tell you. Is this about your health, a love life, a relationship? Is this about you and the way in general you are running your life and letting people treat you or you treat others? A job, a home, a car, anything that's tangible and intangible. All right, look at it that way and it's time for you to move forward now. Renewed in this, see the white horse? It's a purging of the old, embracing the new. And you know that the number 13 is a highly resonant number. It's what the earth vibrates to. It's the number of Metatron's cube. It's the number of the archangels. You know, it's a very special number that they want us to be afraid of, but embrace it as it's something very highly resonant and vibrational. And that's what you want to do. Change your vibration to the next level and rise above the old you. Great. End of what you've been worried about, what you've been anxious about with this relationship and this person, this job, this dead end situation. You know, you felt like you're going nowhere and you're worrying about it a lot. You've been highly anxious about it, Pisces. Um, you are the worry wart as just as Virgo is, you know, your polar opposite. Only you take it to the next level. You start to feel it in your body. You know, where Virgo is, it's the mental realm and they exacerbate it in their intestinal system and anxiety, the central nervous system. You let it resonate throughout your whole body because you're water. Water is everywhere, right? You're part of water, 97% of your body. So you start to let this take over and that's where you start to get that victim mentality, that martyr syndrome. With the nine is ending, the worry, the doubt, the suspicion, the fear, um, if this was any anxiety, um, depression, jealousy, any fear-based thing that you can think of and speak, negative talk. I like this because you've been putting up with something for a while now, and it was all within you. I can't say that uh, they're saying it's blaming somebody else or something else. It's the way you've been feeling about it and handling it that's been making this much more miserable and uncomfortable for you. So let's let this go now uh, because this is like the energy of Mars and Gemini. And Mars, you know, is that forerunner. It's a trailblazer. Gemini rules the mental realm. And that's another one. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. That's that mental realm communication, their air sign. So they get that nervousness. You want to let that go. Take control of the way you're thinking and communicating now that I am all right. Everything is going to be better in my life now. I am in joy. I am in bliss. I am free of this agony now. We're going to have slumps. We're all going to go through it. But remember, this too shall pass. And this is passing for you now. Nice. Another major for you. Um, you have a 13, 10, and 3. And look, you have a 3. So this is the choice you make in things in life. This is about you wanting to reach your fullest potential. And with the Empress, you do have that happening for you. Where your card, the High Priestess, is 
potential unfulfilled. It's not realized yet. This card, the Empress, is is definitely being fulfilled. It's knowing like whatever you've been creating or thinking about and desiring and want to bring into life, you are about to bring it into form. Um, this is a period of great abundance for you too, a period of joy. For some of you, it is about having a baby, conceiving, you know, and having a child. For some of you, it's the birth of a new love or because this card is Venus. Um, it could be a new love relationship, a healing of an old love relationship, a healing of something within you that's been bothering you for so long. This new you that you're bringing forth into the world through this life, death, and transformation. And especially in July this month, the alignment with Venus, and it's a very comfortable, beautiful alignment. Many people are going to be falling in love, falling in love with a person, a thing, an idea, a concept, you know, a theory, a theology, but it is about you bringing it into fruition. And for a period of time, there will be great abundance in your life. For some of you, this represents a mother also, a mother figure. So maybe there's been some duress about a mother or mother figure that you've been worrying, quarreling, um, not having a good relationship with. This could be the healing for that too. Sometimes it symbolizes an overbearing mother who is imposing. Um, there could be some healing going on with that too. That's something I've never said before. Um, but for the most part, it does look like it's, it's, it's your time to rise above all the worry that you've been feeling and for a period. Things are going to go well for you with work and in your personal life starting in July. Like I said, for a period of time, not forever and never. Yeah, it's time for you to kick back, take some rest. If you haven't taken a little vacation, it's time or a staycation. You know, um, if you've been working very hard, you really need to kick back and relax a little bit. Maybe you've been overdoing things, even mentally. You've been wearing yourself down so much, working very hard at this thing that you're looking to bring into life. For some of you, it is having a baby. Some of you recovering from an addiction, alcoholism. Uh, some of you just working too hard or a health issue. It's your time to relax, you know, and see the swords here again. They're coming at you, but they're not piercing you. And I have this like silver to gold. There's something transformative going on there from the raw state to the purified state. The sword is at rest with you. You know, you're in prayer and contemplation, meditation, quiet state. You have the beautiful stained glass spirit overlooking you, gracing you with some time to be in repose right now. Don't push yourself. For some of you, this has really been tearing down at you, and it's knocked you for a loop. Um, but we don't want this to escalate for you with the four we're saying to just stop and take some time to rest. Go by the sea if that's what you love to do, Pisces. If you like to go on hikes, um, go to a winery. You know, go for an overnight somewhere. And if you can't afford that, do something lovely for yourself. Pamper yourself. Manicure, pedicure. If you want a new tattoo um, or a piercing, Whatever floats your boat, but do something nice for yourself to show love and compassion for you, for everything that you've been going through. And the last, maybe if it's even a year for some of you, that it's coming to an end here. And you definitely want to relax. Just know this process is about you transforming. We're starting with the transformation, we're ending it. Like turning lead to gold, it's an alchemical process, and it is a time for you to be rejuvenated, regenerated, and restored. So try and help yourself this month, Pisces, and take care of yourself without worrying. I mean, you can worry if you want to, but you don't really need to. That's up to you. You have free will, like I always say, and free won't. You're either going to do it or you're either going to don't. It's up to you. So let's see what we have with the Oracle card. I have the Enchanted Map Oracle card for us this month. Pull an extra card for all our Pisces for July of 2019 and see any added message we have for them. Thanks again for everyone who's watching and commenting, booking readings, subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I have all the uh, signs up too. So if this doesn't resonate, look for your ascendant or wherever you have the uh, stellium or even if you have your north node and you know what that is. Let's see. I think you want to come out. Oh, nice. Heal the ouch, number 38. Let's see what it says. Put this here. I hope it's one of those ones that could hold the book while I'm doing this. Let me put this down. Nope, I gotta turn the page. Let's start off with Heal the Ouch. 
Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. This is a time for great soothing of the heart, body, soul, and mind, as this card indicates that healing will be the prevalent in your life now. If you feel drawn to study the healing arts, you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness. However, the message may be that you're being called to change your behaviors in order to heal the earth. Perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty-free diet, eating less meat, or perhaps you'll pay more attention to how much water or electricity you use. You're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life and to commit to the healing path. The Heal the Ouch card may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliation are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. That speaks to anything here. If this is a mother or mother figure that you've had some quarrels or disconnect with or not talking to, there's that healing going on. And it also talks about you healing the ouch within yourself. I love when this happens. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Spirit is all around us. The universe loves us. God loves us. Your angels and guides, they love us all. And for you, Pisces, to the 12th house, the most mystical of all houses, and the most compassionate in healing the earth, and you feel for all of humanity, take some time, they're saying, to take care of yourself also and show love for yourself. And three and eight is an 11. So there's a portal energy there. You're being entering into this new life. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Have a great July. If you're celebrating July 4th in the States, enjoy it and be careful. And we have our summer in America and in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. So I hope everyone's enjoying that. I'll see you guys next month. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. And as always, I wish you the best.